I picked up this table at five below. It was $5. It says enamel table, and it's just a circular type tray with three legs at the bottom. And it comes in this package where you kind of have to put the legs together, which was fine. The top portion is white. The bottom tips are like a brass color. It was very easy to put together. And we're gonna be concentrating on the top portion. And this is the back, and that's where the th three legs are going to be screwed into. And today we're gonna to be working with Cosmic Roses. This is a great transfer, it's quite large, it's a 40 by 30. Really to use it in its entirety, this is the entire image. If you were to put all these pieces together, it comes with six panels. So you would need a pretty large dresser to put the entire image on. And you can find this transfer at chalkitupfancy.com. And it's just a lot of these greens and blues and some gold writing. And you want to start by making a plan. And this is what I'm going to want to put the transfer on is, is in this tray. So I create, I chose where uh, on the transfer I want to use and I made myself a mark of the circle using the tray. And I'm just going to cut these out with a pair of scissors. Now, any leftover transfer, I have a big bin where I just keep all my pieces in case I do small projects. I have them. And this is basically what it's going to end up looking like. I'm going to start with my first panel and I'm going to remove the protective backing. Now, this is an enamel tray. So, see how the minute that one corner stuck, that's it. That's where I have to put it. So, if I had Jamie here, it would have been a little bit easier to lay down. It does come with a stick that's in the tube. And then you want to take your um, application stick and just rub it all over the image. And once you feel like you've kind of hit every portion of the image, you can kind of find that spot that's ready to lift. I usually start in a corner, and this is a gentle thing. You want to really gently just start lifting that top protective coat that's being released from the image as you're rubbing. That's what's happening as you're releasing this top thin layer of, of um, film. And if you start to lift it and you feel like it's not ready or some of the image is coming up with it, you just lay it back down and just work on it a little bit longer. I finally got my film off. And this is another very important part of this process is you want to take a cloth and we call this burnishing where you're just rubbing it and making sure that every portion of it is adhered. I applied my second sheet. I'm not going to make you go through watching me do the whole thing over. And then here you go. Just when you apply your second sheet, you can line up your flowers and mine turned out quite nicely. So now I'm adding the legs. And this next step, I'm going to require Jamie because we're going to be using Amazing Clear Cast Resin. Jamie is the resin queen. And we this was quite easy because you need equal parts, and we just use both bottles, part A and part B, and mix it together. Here's the surface prior. We're going to be adding some gold leaf with a tweezer. And you want to wear a mask when you're working with this resin. So we apply, we actually place some of this um, gold leaf in the tray with the tweezer. There were little larger chunks. And then we added some gold glitter all over the tray. And now we're gonna to begin to pour the resin. Starting in the center. Now, once you pour all your resin out, you say to yourself, "You've oh, we always think we didn't have enough. That has happened before, but um, you really just want a thin coat. And now we're just tipping the tray left to right, side to side, and just allowing that resin to move its way to the edges. We did hit it with a blow dryer. Um, which does help move it along a little bit, but it takes out any bubbles that may have occurred, the heat. You can use a heat gun. We just used our blow dryer. And again, it's just a little patience, just allowing the resin to slowly move by tilting your um, 
tabletop or whatever project you're using until it hit that rim. And it moves kind of slowly, so you don't really have to worry about it rushing and you over tilting. So finally it did meet all the edges. I just really wanted to allow you guys to see the process. Once all the edges uh, met, we set it down and allowed it to harden. I really hope you enjoyed this video. For other tutorials, go check us out on YouTube. You can now watch all our videos at chalkitupfancy.com. For any paint products, brushes, tissue paper, or transfers, chalkitupfancy.com. Thank you so much for watching.